So I have a few life updates. For one, as you can see, I am back in my room the room. I'm back in the room. Um, no more apartment. I moved home and I am living back at home for now. I was not happy in that space and I just really needed to get out of there and we're back. We are back home and I honestly just missed my space so so much. So for one, I moved and secondly, the main and most important part of this video is that I quit my job. I haven't really talked about this on YouTube before but I was working a full-time job. You can kind of see on my channel when I stopped consistently uploading as much because I did get a job. For legal purposes, I will refer to this job as Tegrat. You can spell it backwards and figure it out. The big red bullseye that we all know and love. The place that you go in to get one thing and you end up coming out with $100 spent. I think y'all can guess what that is. Yeah, I was working there for almost a whole year and I was just feeling super unfulfilled. I almost felt gray. And yesterday was my very last day. I put my two weeks in and I am fully done. I do not work there anymore. I feel like I was just working to live and not actually living, you know? I know that I am super privileged to be in a position where I am able to do this and quit my job and have a place to go and live for free. And I am so incredibly grateful for it. Uh, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I had to get out of my situation. And it was honestly really scary to leave. Like, I know it wasn't like a crazy big, huge, big girl salary job. But, but I was still terrified to pull the trigger. I finally just got the balls to put in my two weeks. I, it's not like I have a crazy amount of money saved or anything. I didn't really feel secure to leave yet, but for my mental health, I just had to. Working at a job that was depriving me of the opportunity to chase my dreams was just like eating away at my soul. I literally couldn't take it anymore. I was already dreading clocking in the next day before I even went to sleep at night. And like, it was always just the job was just running in my head constantly, even outside of work. Like it started to consume me. Every minute at that job felt so long and it started, my life just started to fully revolve around it, which is the opposite of what I had intended when I started working there. It was supposed to be just a part-time thing and it just, it just wasn't for me anymore. It's not about the place, the people, like anything. I absolutely, I actually really loved the environment, but um, it was honestly just like a personal battle with what my heart wanted. So now we're here. I finally decided to go back to chasing my dreams. I had a fear of going back to doing what I love because of the time it's going to take for me to make it sustainable and be able to sustain my living expenses. But I think it's dumb for me to give up on a dream out of fear of time that it's going to take to put into it because time's gonna pass anyways. Therefore, I am wasting my life not doing what I love. So I finally decided to go back to dream chasing. So let's talk about dreams or mine at least. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're watching it on YouTube, you know I make YouTube videos. I love YouTube and I love creating and now I'm gonna have the time to put back into it. And obviously just all overall, all my social media in general. I want to get back to the level of creating that I was at before and even better this time. I wanna create a community of just beautiful, genuine, people over here on my little corner of the internet. I am so excited to get back to fully pursuing this dream and making it a reality again. Cause I know it's possible. I've done it successfully before. Like I've literally already done it. I just want it, I just want to scale it back to a point where it is sustaining me again. And I'm going to be back on here just so much more consistently. I'm so excited for all the content I'm about to make. I got lots of little ideas brewing. My content is probably going to be a little bit different because I want to make more meaningful like just stuff that I'm more proud of so yeah good content coming but secondly I want to go back into pursuing my art art has just art has been a lifelong love of mine like I'm going to take it more seriously and try and build a name for myself in the art community I got into the biggest art competition in the entire world and it's my very first one, which is a super proud accomplishment of mine. And for some reason, this, me getting into this competition helped me to validate in my head that people actually like 
enjoy and want to see my art. I love creating, but I don't actually even really do anything with majority of the art that I create. It kind of just like sits around and I don't really ever do anything with it. I'm going to try and focus hard on putting everything out there and just and just building a name in a community based around my, based around things that I have created. And that's just super exciting to me. Like I cannot wait to have more time to just be a creative being because that's what I am. Yeah, I just have too many dreams to chase to be working at a job that wasn't filling me. And lastly, last a life update on a lighter note, I got a little tattoo guys, look at her. Ah, it's so cute. It's very simple. I also got, I don't know if you can see it. I also got dots on my middle fingers, but they're already faded. But yeah, but no longer a tat virgin over here. It's just my little angel number. It's a 222. If you guys don't know what angel numbers are, you can Google it. That is mine. It pops up to me everywhere. Like that is, I am a 222 gal over here. So I just, I got it. It's the right place, right time. I got her right on my forearm. Look at it every single day and I love it. So. But if you're still watching this, I just want to say, like, don't be afraid to change your life and change your situation if you don't absolutely fucking love it. Like, seriously, do what you have to do to get yourself where you want to be. For real, like, you will thank yourself. I personally literally feel like I was just reborn and I'm like on the edge of a new journey again. Like, I feel like I'm literally like, about to spread my wings. I just feel free. I feel light. I know not everybody has the privilege to be able to quit their job or leave a toxic situation, but for real, like, do what you can for yourself. I am so incredibly, like, at peace now. It's insane. I'm so excited to see what's about to happen to my life. I know what's meant for me is meant for me, and the universe will deliver when it's ready, but you gotta work with it and be awake, too, and I think I finally just, like, woke up. So, yeah, those are some, those are my my life updates, my little life updates for y'all. I'll be back here soon, hitting it with all the content. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited, y'all. You don't even know. I've been waiting so long for this. So yeah, if y'all have any content ideas, leave them down below because I got a lot of time to create now. So yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of my face. I will be back. I'll be back in full force now. And yeah, I'm just super excited, super free. I'm at a super good point in life right now. So I guess that's it for this video. If you guys did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. And I love you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.